recovery after liposuction of the submental region and neck region. So you're gonna have three little incisions with a couple sutures in each one, one under your chin and one behind each earlobe. Those sutures will be removed at one of your follow-up appointments approximately five to seven days later. I do need you to wear a compression garment, so I'm gonna have you in a uh, jaw bra strap, which is like a headgear kind of thing. And the purpose of the headgear is to hold this foam. I'm gonna put some foam right here, hold that foam straight up. Our goal is to give you a 90 degree angle neckline, and that foam needs to be pushing straight up underneath your chin, um, above what's called your hyoid bone. So what I don't want is the foam to be pushing like this, because we don't want to give you an obtuse neck. We want to give you a 90 degree angle acute neckline. And to do that, the foam needs to only be about two fingers thick, so it fits right underneath your chin and pulls straight upward to help create that 90 degree angle. The other thing I need you to do is to sleep without a pillow. I want your neck extended while that skin is redraping and healing. So sleep kind of like that with the foam right here and the jaw bra pulling upward. The other things you can do to speed up your recovery and optimize your recovery are you can ice that area. If all you had done was submental liposuction, it's okay to ice it. But please remember to use ice packs that will either melt before they give you frostbite or set a timer for 10, 15 minutes at a time because that tissue may be temporarily numb and you won't know if you're injuring it with too much ice. So either use small ice packs that will melt in case you fall asleep or set a timer to remove it before you would get frostbite. The other thing to do is to make sure that the, the ice is not in direct contact with your skin. As far as showering, you can immediately shower after this procedure. Wait a few weeks before you submerge your incisions underwater in a bath or pool. Um, you can exercise after one week. And I want you to wear the jaw bra and foam underneath here as well as sleep like this for one to two months if you can stand it. I know it's hard to live life with a piece of foam here and a jaw bra on your head, so you can absolutely take it off when you are out of your house, but whenever you're in a situation where you can wear it, it will help if you wear that as much as you can initially. It will also help early on is more important than later on, but it'll help the more you can sleep with your neck extended will help as well, and as you get towards the end of two months out from surgery, you can sleep with your neck less extended and start sleeping more normally, as well as quit using the compression foam. To learn more, check out our website where you can upload your photos and concerns as a virtual consult. You can also check out our price estimator to get pricing information for all the various procedures we offer. And finally, if you'd like to have your questions answered on a future podcast or Q&A video session like this, please leave a message on our SpeakPipe. You can go to our blog page and our SpeakPipe is located there. Thanks for listening.